day two in Goa. My first proper day really as I got here yesterday. I hope everybody enjoyed the train video I did from Mumbai to Goa. That was released a couple of days ago. Make sure you go and check it out. So we're off to Patnam Beach and we're there and we're going there because we heard from people in the hostel that there's a really good bazaar that's like a night bazaar that's open every Thursday and this is going to be the only Thursday that I'm here so we're going to go and check it out it's about a 25 minute walk from the hostel and it's about five o'clock in the evening as you can see it's another beautiful day in India and even though I've only been in Goa for about 24 hours this place is unbelievable it is so good and I'm looking forward to making quite a bit of content even though I'm only here for a week and it won't be very hard to make content in this place because it's just so so nice That is so funny. I wonder if that's why it's actually called Cow Corner. I wonder if that cow just randomly nips in there every few hours or something. And we've gone past an amazing little bar here. I can just tell it's really good. If you want to check out the prices in Goa, this is a happy hour at this bar from like 11 a.m. till like five o'clock. Kingfisher, small, big, ATP, £1.40. I imagine these are bottles bottle of lager for less than a quid yep go is still cheap all right so now if I fancy a cheeky afternoon beer I know where to go don't I yeah this is good I wonder if this is the bazaar kind of coming up <laughs> I've absolutely no idea what it's like or even where it is but <laughs> we'll have a wonder about and you want to talk about a slower pace of life and here we are, Patnam Beach. Wow. And the cafes and bars along the beaches are just all really nice. It's like a perfect like mixture of a cafe, bar, restaurant, nightclub. <laughs> just the perfect mix here. You've got people playing beach volleyball. No, it's just really nice. Boats along the, along the beach. With the sunset coming in. Yeah, I'm pretty relaxed. And it's the palm trees that kind of do it for me here to be honest because like you've got a beautiful beach the beautiful ocean and then the other side of it is just a row of actually quite dense palm trees that kind of just go all the way around <laughs> no wonder no wonder people come to goa for a holiday okay well <laughs> Not much a sign of the night bazaar that someone in the hostel said there was. But not to worry, that's Patnam Beach. That beach looks good. Well, you should try and see the next one we're going to go to. Next to the hostel that I stay in, Palom Beach. It is honestly one of the nicest beaches I've ever seen. been walking past far too many cafes and not gone in one yet and actually I just fancy a coffee and this looks a really nice one so we're about 10 minutes away from Palom Beach so we're just gonna chill out have a coffee and continue on thank you sir thank you They're so friendly here this was a uh, 30 rupees and this white coffee was 80 these two for a pound <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant and I can't speak in behalf of the like the whole of Goa but I know a lot of people say 
well back home before you know Goa's got too like touristy it's got too westernized well for South Goa which I'm in now no definitely not there's not like too many tourists here or anything North Goa might be different I don't know I've not been there but yeah don't worry about that don't worry if you think oh Goa's had its day um, <laughs> there's not that many tourists here So as dusk approaches, we're not too far from this beach at all and it's a really nice walk from basically my hostel where I've just come from down to the beach, so let's go. I want to swap that coffee for a beer now. <laughs> How could you be on an Indian beach and not play a bit of cricket? <laughs> so they're just packing up as well. We caught the last ball of the day. <laughs> and it's just really nice to see all the boats coming in now as well. <laughs> as night time approaches, everyone's getting their boats in. Obviously putting, the, obviously putting these wooden blocks on the beach and then sliding it inland oh, it's really cool to see now this spot's amazing and then don't worry in the evening oh it's pitch black it's going to empty no 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 there's actually floodlights on the beach here and obviously all the bars and restaurants are lit up anyway so there's always a bit of light even when the sun goes down <laughs> hello hello sir yeah it's making fish barbecue oh fish barbecue huh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, yeah, snapper. Is that a red, red snapper? Yeah, this is a snapper, pop and kingfish. Kingfish, king massive king prawns. Yeah, this is bigger skewer, calamari. Yeah, calamari? Yeah, the biggest size. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Cool, you're tempting me. Well, what an absolutely brilliant beach, eh? And I've seen quite a few people sitting out here with a big bottle of Kingfisher and I thought why not join them, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And just yeah, <laughs> drink my beer and look out at the sights. This is unbelievable this place, absolutely unbelievable. And I feel quite fortunate that I'm actually staying just like a five minute walk away from this beach, so I'm going to be here pretty much every night. <laughs> oh brilliant, thank you sir. <laughs> Good timing, <laughs> just as a finish. Yeah, it's beer time. You can enjoy and... So as the sun's pretty much set now, a good time to end the video and hope everyone enjoyed it. Basically a view of the two beaches that I'm staying around in South Goa. We started at Patnem Beach and now we're finishing our day with a Kingfisher at Palom Beach, just up the road. I'm going to try and create as much content as possible of Goa as I'm here and I've got a week so Hopefully, I should get quite a few videos as a cow just strolls on the beach. What a place, what a place. Right, I'm going to enjoy my kingfisher and I'll see you very soon. All the best. <laughs>